Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, we will learn how to send the data using the form. Why? Because in the previous video, we have seen sending the data in the HTTP request using the links. So here the browser automatically sends this one. So you need to add the query string and you, the, the browser automatically makes a get request with the detail, with these details. So now if you want to manually, if you want to send the data, this is then another way. So if you want to send uh, the data using the form means, so this is the process. So this is the another way of sending the data. So for example, let's say that we are having a form. So here I am taking the form. And in this form, let's say that we'll be having input. Input type is equal to text and you need to have a name. So with this name, the data will be sent. I will try to show you. And this is the channel name. And here you can have one div. And you can have one div here. And this is the button. We'll be having this button. So button and here we'll be having a submit. Okay, so this is the button. Now, if you try to see the output, let's try to run the here. So I am running the server. So let's go to the here and see. Yeah. So let's refresh this page. Yeah, this is the text box we are having, and this is the submit button. So now I need to make a get request. So this form so we can use method is equal to get. So this is the channel name. And here, if you want to make a get request, here I am writing, trying to write Leela web dev with the space and all those things. Channel. I am giving that channel. Leela web dev channel. And if you submit here, automatically, so here it will be sent to the Leela web dev, but here the action is not there. It is not going to the main.php. And here we need to mention the action as main.php. So this is the main thing. It needs to go to the main.php, right? And the server has to catch that one. So here, let's remove this one. So here in this one, I am trying to give Leela web dev channel. Now, if I try to click on this one, it's going to the main.php and here you'll be able to see syntax error and all those things. Let's see what is happening here. Okay. We don't have the same colon. Okay. The channel name is the same as the name, right? Yeah. This is also a name. Let's refresh this. Let's go back again. And I'm refreshing this page. Yeah. Leela web dev channel and i'm clicking on the submit yeah here we are able to successfully get the data so now how i am able to get the data now this time i am passing the data through the form so that is the main thing so here i am sending this one through the form if you try to see the payload and here it is sent as a get request so if you try to see here request method is get and the request headers and all those things are the same thing only but this time we are sending the data instead of clicking on the link through the form we are trying. So the user, whatever the channel name or anything, whatever the user types, here we are trying to send the data. Not only like this, if you change it to post here. Okay. So now this time the data will be sent as a post data. So here you need to write dollar underscore post. Okay. If you see the output, then now if you see here, now I am refreshing this page again. And this time I am using Leela web dev channel. Okay. The same thing, same thing. I am trying to write it. But this time what I will do here, I am clicking on the submit and here we also then also we are able to see and there is no question mark here. So there is no query string. So this time we are not passing through the get request. We are passing it as a post request. If you try to see here, the request method we are trying to access is the post and the status code. We got it as a 200. Okay. And here all the one and the same thing only we are trying to send. And here the payload will be the form data. If you try to see here, the channel name is equal to key value pair. I am trying to send it. <coughs> So like this, we can send it using the get request and also using the post request also. So this is how we can send the data. So not only with the post data, not, not only with the links thing, we can also send it through the form like this. So this is another way of sending the data. So now we have seen the links directly clicking, sending the data to the server and also through the form. So this is the form data. It will be submitted and also we can send it through the get request and also through the post request. And in the PHP, we are catching it through the dollar underscore get and the dollar underscore post. So this is not needed. Just I am trying to tell you. And we have an another process also through the cookie. How we can send it through the cookie. I will try to explain you in the next video. Hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any sessions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.